Thank you. Logan, who is your biggest cheerleader? And what words settle with you that, wow, I know I can do it? So um, both of my parents who are in the audience are absolutely incredible. And I, I feel extremely fortunate every single day to have them in my life. It, it makes my heart full because it's the place, you know, home is the place that you can come you know, you won't be judged, and you know, they always tell me to never give up, and, uh, and they're, they've shaped me into the person that I've become, along with my sisters, too, and uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about them. I don't know where I would be without them, so I'm, I'm yeah, I'm incredibly grateful for that support system. Share, share who has given you the words to be able to move into that arena? Who has been that person or those people? For me, I've had, uh, you know, there's several people in that group, uh, my mom and dad who are here being two of them. Uh, and then also, um, you know, my, both my brothers, my sister-in-laws, my nieces um and then you know just in different walks of life for me whether it be the people who i run with you know who i'm a member of a running group in the heights and uh people i play basketball with in the winter time so uh but i always tell people also i say you know Family is always the biggest thing for me, but friends is a big one too, and the close friends for me are like family. That's great. Thank you. So before we go to our last question, I want everyone to think about any questions or words of any uh, tone that you would like to ask our panelists. We pass around three by five cards. You have them. You, so if you want to kind of think about them now, uh, Wendy, where's our Wendy? Wendy will collect the questions and we'll go through that. So, all right, Terry. You kind of feel like, poor Terry. Terry has said first here. We're gonna put Terry first. Terry, words of encouragement. I would say perseverance and true encouragement and faith that you have the ability to succeed. When I, when I think about Clayton's journey thus far, Notre Dame has been amazing. The academic support center is a gem within a gem. And the fact that right here in our little community, we have such a phenomenal university that allows students to become who they were meant to be is amazing. I will also say that, for the record, my husband's here today, so I will say that when I used to ask why do all these, our boys are been, have been very athletic, they've been in every sport um, from beginning three-year-olds until, you know, they're grown, they're, they're young adults now, it is bowling that attracted Clayton here to Notre Dame. And what a wonderful opportunity to be at a school where the program welcomes students with learning differences to be able to excel, not only in a sport, but also in the classroom. So I would say the words of encouragement is to know that there are a multitude of resources available and to leverage them and to really help your children or whoever your loved one is to become the best person that they can be. Thank you. So Logan, before you define or share your encouraging words, I want you to, and Peter, I want you to think about this also. Yes, there's a lot of parents in this audience. But all of these parents are going to go home and they're going to be talking to their little ones. And they're going to be saying, oh my gosh, I met this really cool guy, Logan, and he shared. And he shared some kind words of encouragement. 
So what would be the kind words of encouragement that you would tell the parents that they're going to go home and share to their little ones? So I would say that, um, so the label of a disability, you, I strongly believe that you're not defined by that. People that have disabilities are still people. They're, they're still, you know, they're still human beings with feelings and emotions. And if they have the right support systems and drives, I believe that they can shatter past their limits. I, I, you know, I've been fortunate enough, I've worked hard trying to break past my limits and I've had the people in my life that I mentioned before that have helped me with that. And I, I would just say, like, tell them, keep moving forward, it, it, be yourself, you know. Not everybody is gonna look at you the same um, and those people just don't understand, don't understand you, but there's gonna be there's going to be those people in your life that you'll come across that are truly incredible and, and truly just are going to be there for you. And they know they value you for you. Um, so I would just tell them never give up and just keep, keep working hard at what you want to achieve and what you believe in. Because there's so much more than just a label. So that's what I would say. So the words that I've always lived by, um, I don't even know where I got these from, to be honest with you, but uh, I've always lived by them, so, but if there's one thing that you take away from, uh, you know, this night and being here in general, just, uh, as I always say, believe and you will achieve. So as long as you believe in something, you'll be able to achieve. Perfect. Thank you, Peter. Lanny, what do you tell your students? What are the words of encouragement? Come up with one. I know it's probably 110. <laughs> there is. Um, I think part of it is, is simply getting to know people as people. I mean, I think that's what Logan's whole message is. And, you know, I don't have a child with a disability. I haven't struggled with one myself, yet my heart from my whole life has been in this arena. And I can't tell you why besides that I think that, that anyone who's working with people who struggle or people who are marginalized, I think God puts things on your hearts. And um, an openness to just simply get to know people as people. <laughs> it's, I mean, if we're all honest, we all struggle with some things. And I think that's the part of the beauty of Julie Billiard School is that you can walk in and all the children know that they're really, really good at something and that's why they're there. And they also know they really struggle with something, but that it's their job and it's their opportunity to support the next person and so they'll walk through and say, what do you struggle with? I'm like, well, I cry a lot. You know, like I just, <laughs> you just put it out there. And I think if we approached people as people and stopped putting labels around it, um, I think we could really get to a new place. So um, being your own advocate is sometimes the only way to get there and proving people wrong. And just, it's, it's a grind, but um, confidence in yourself it goes a really, really long way. So before we go to our questions, I think we need to do one big round of applause that they've gotten to. Really cool. no. Sorry, um, not not really a question, um, just a statement. This um, directly to Lanny. Um, my son is, uh, my grandson is autistic. He attends Julie Billiard in Akron. Um, <laughs> never, never did I imagine that I'd be in this situation. Um, but Julie Billiard has changed our lives um, for the better. 
um, the day we walked through the doors um, on the, the very first day, um, I knew that that's where he needed to be. And I just wanted to, to thank you for your vision and for changing his life and our lives. Thank you. Thank you. It takes a village. <laughs> and it takes the, those stories of the past that have brought us to today. So thank you. Well, I wanted to thank everyone for being here. Um, when you leave, we have Molly Dice in the back, who she has been recruited. She was recruited on Monday. And she collected all your emails. And you're going to get a survey monkey. And this was our first event. And I, if you think that we have Hickman and Louder, Notre Dame College, Julie Billiard, Live Special. We've met three or four times, had a few cups of coffee, and here we have data to go forward to see where this can come. So I'm kind of curious, I have to ask, would you do this again? Would the four of you be willing to go into another arena sharing your stories with these similar questions? So it was successful? Did it work? Thank you guys, thank you.